Hi, welcome. Today, I want to talk about high school science and what are our choices. Hi, welcome. My name is Rachel. I am a homeschool mom of four boys ages 10 to 20. I have graduated two. I have a fifth grader and a 10th grader this school year. And today I want to talk about high school science and what are our choices? What is our child interested in? And just want to share some options. Some we have used and some I have wanted to use but have not and I will explain that in just a minute. But just making sure you know there are so many ways to do it. So I wanna share that with you through the different curriculum that I am familiar with. I do first wanna say a couple things and that is when you are choosing especially science for high school. But really this can relate to any subject. <laughs> for any grade, but I am thinking about high schoolers, that you really just want to be realistic in what you expect from them and what their interests are. Is this a subject matter that they really are interested in or a subject matter that they really need to comprehend and understand because they are going to carry that into college with whatever they may be studying whether it be something with medical or science or engineering. So keep that in mind. If they are not even college bound, do they need to take an honors science? So let's look at some of our options and some sciences that I have looked at and have not used and also gonna share with you some of them that we have used. First, I do wanna share with you that my two oldest who have graduated did do some classes at a co-op and let me mention that science because i feel like that is probably one of the most popular and that is apologia now i really liked it in a co-op setting i don't think it would have been a science for us if we just did it as a family so i do want to share that thought with you I have heard reviews both ways. I've had heard people really struggling with Apologia. And I feel like that would have been us if it was not for the co-op setting. Um, my oldest took biology and advanced biology and he actually did well and he is more of my math person. <laughs> he, did, he enjoyed those more than chemistry but he didn't take chemistry at a co-op so he, that may have worked better for him, I don't know. And then my second, he only took biology. And then he did chemistry 101 at home. And I know that benefited him. He would not have probably been that interested in biology if it was not for the co-op. So I do appreciate that in the teachers. And that is just something that I am not, not that God's creations and nature does not interest me. I just do not think of it at that level. So. Now, let's look at one of the sciences that I did really look into several times over the years, and still it's in the back of my mind. Now, and if I end up using it, it's going to have to be for my 10, almost 11-year-old in the future for high school. All right. Okay, here we are, beginnings publishing. I have known about this one for a long time and have always wanted to try it. But for us, it was probably more the cost. Now they have several things. They have the rainbow and it says junior high, but I know I have read on here and seen reviews that this can be carried over into high school for a science that would be physical science and biology. And then they actually have a bridge math that prepares you for the spectrum of chemistry. This is a chemistry curriculum. It says equivalent to an honors chemistry. So let me know if you have heard of this or have tried it. Would love to know. Here, if you click on, it gives you a little, gives you an idea of prices. A one year rainbow junior high science curriculum, labs and all of that with the price and then they have the second year. And from what I understand, the first year is more of the physical science and the second year would be counted for biology. And then they have this short seven week course 
to prep you for the math that you'll need for chemistry. So, and then they have the workbooks and they also have the labs materials, lots to read, and obviously this would be very pricey for a complete set too. So, but really comparable to other curriculums with labs, it is about the same price. So I really wanted to share this with you if you have not heard of Beginnings Publishing. So I have looked into them. I know there are a few reviews on YouTube that you might be able to find. Okay, the next one I want to share with you is Shepherd Science. And I feel like this one is sort of new to us. And I really have been impressed with their Christian worldview and online, it being online, but I really do feel like I looked into it for chemistry. And this is sort of where I'm at. Several of them I was looking into chemistry, but I also looked at their biology. But it looked very advanced. And that's when I want to talk about being realistic for your child is you know, this may look really good, it has the videos, but the workload in the in their book, I'm not sh even sure if you can, I think you can purchase it or it's printable, I'm not sure, just looked like a lot for him when that is not something he is pursuing. So I want him to have like basics of everything, but I do not need him to have college prep or honors in these sciences. Now, if you have a child, this is why I'm sharing different levels of science. If you have a child that is interested in that kind of stuff, this may be one of them. So let's look at it. Okay, here is another one, Science Shepherd. And yes, we are using the Unearthing the Bible. And this is just a short science program. I think it's 15 weeks. But I wanted to make sure that you realized that they do have biology, fundamentals of chemistry and physics. Now it says fun fundamentals, but when I was looking at the course, this is one reason I didn't look into it for my 10th grader going into 11th now, was it looked really in depth. Um, it looks like if you can actually look at samples of the books, there are videos that go along with it. It looks like it would definitely have some math. So this would definitely be a chemistry you would use for somebody that is into the science. I like that it had the videos. You can order a print or digital book. And I'm going to link all these sites below because I really suggest that you look over the books and what they offer in the index and that type of stuff. So, and wants me to sign up. Um, but they have physics. I didn't really look into that one. I looked into the chemistry one really good and it looked, you know, I don't want to say like advanced advanced, but it looked more advanced than what my son would have been looking at. Um, and I have not looked into the biology too much, but it also would have videos for streaming. Just wanted to share that with you. If you have not looked into this, there are so many out there and it's hard to decipher and I felt very comfortable about their Christian worldview, what I have seen and read about so far. Okay, I'm going to take you over to Master Books and see what they have for high school. Okay, here we are looking at the Master Books site and just looking at their science options and they have quite a few for high school. And they really have quite a few for junior high and several of these will probably say seventh through ninth. Um, let's just look at one for example, general science. They have a few of these. Actually, this is grade seven through 12. So definitely look into those if you have one that is not probably going into science, but just need some science credits. Um, here is a master class. They have a physics, biology, and chemistry now that they also have the labs available on their new Master Books Academy, is, I think is what it is called, and I will link that below. 
So, and I really looked into these books and they really looked good. If you watched some things that I was considering for next year, this was the one I was considering. Mainly because the book looked doable, but it also had the labs on video. And that is just, you know, you have to decide, be realistic what is needed for your family and for your child. You know, they might want something really advanced. They're into chemistry, they're into STEM, and this is something they will pursue when they go to college. So they will want to make sure it is more advanced, but these books may work even for that. So check them out if you have not. Okay, so that was definitely a science that I would consider for my 10th grader who is not going to be taking science in college. <laughs> so wanted to share that thought with you. I love the idea that they have these videos out for the lab if that's something that you do not want to do at home. Also, I'm going to share Shorman Science with you. I know that's a big talk with math right now, but they do have sciences. And to me, they are definitely college prep. Um, I think you can do honors with them. We'll look at that. But I do want to share that my son did do that for a semester. It was more than we expected. It was very good. Um, I loved that it was all videos and they did the labs. That was videos. Of course, you have the books, you have the reading, you have the work to do. It is a, a workload. Um, but one reason we switched, which we don't usually do that, especially with science midway through the year, is that he started working and I knew this was not a priority for him either. It was not something that he would probably pursue in. And, you know, you just want to keep your relationship with your teens through those years. And that is a decision each parent will have to make. So, but I do want to share it with you, especially if you do have one that is college bound or wants an honor science, this is something to look into. Also, one that is talked about not only for science, but also math is the Shorman, which is actually, this is the site I am finding, dive into math. But if you go down here, they do have a science. And it does say a biblical foundation, self-paced courses. Okay. And then they have down a little bit further what grade level you're looking at and what is available. I'm going to look at the chemistry because actually my oldest did this for a semester. I'm going to see how much information it gives you. And I have a feeling it's a little bit different than it was then. Well, the labs look familiar. It's been a while. They have a teacher's guide, additional sibling sample lessons you try before you buy, reading supplements, okay? So it looks pretty detailed on helping you with the information. Gives you a self-paced 12-month subscription and updated video lessons, automated grading. So he did this for a semester and it was definitely advanced. Wanted to share that with you. Next, I want to share the 101 series, and that is actually what we are using this school year. First time using the biology one. We've used the chemistry and the physics. But, and I do have a video on that particular science in depth, so I will leave that below. But I wanted to just show you the site and just so you, I feel like it helps Sometimes you look at a site and it can be a little overwhelming. That is one reason I'm going through this with you all. So hopefully that is helpful. So let's look at that. Okay, the 101 series, and I've actually done a video on the biology one. We have done the chemistry one, and one of my boys went through the physics, pretty much just watching the DVD. So. We do have all these. They also have a general science now. That is new to me. And tells you what you're gonna need. Now all these printables are actually on the DVDs that are come with this. So if you just purchase this, 
you would be able to print off all the extras. Looks like they stream the videos if you prefer. And they have, this is new I think, student notebooks. Not sure if that's necessary. And they have a whole biology curriculum set. For me personally, you know, if you go back to my reviews, I don't know if this was all necessary. I just printed it off. Okay, if I remember right, I think you actually have to sign up to, for an email and to ask for free samples of the book. So let me double check here. Um, let's see, your complete high school level. They have a video you can watch, which would be helpful. It tells you what's in the CDs and it right down here at the bottom, enter your email at the bottom of the pay home page for a free sample. So I think if you click this, this is the home page. So you would come right down here and fill out your information and they would send you free samples of what is inside these. I'm not sure why they do it that way. I just think it's a smaller company and that is what works for them. So. But I wanted to just give you an idea what the site looks like, going through that with you. I will be honest, these DVDs I have ordered all used. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so those are just some options. Just wanted to share with you if you're trying to narrow down some high school science. There are several out there. You know, you could start out with physical science in eighth or ninth grade biology find out what your state requires that is the most important thing is finding out what your state requires and deciding on what what level your child is at and making it work for them and it may not be what everybody else is doing that you know um, it, or it could be that they are very advanced and need the extra honors science that's why i want to, to share some different options with you different ways that you can do these higher level science for high school. And these are just the basics. There are several other ones. There's earth science, there's astronomy, and I know Master Books has a couple of those options. And also it looked like maybe Science Shepherd may have had an astronomy. So wanted to also share that with you, if that is something else. You can also do a creation science on your own, and that might be something you could pull from master books or answers in genesis so but as the parent don't pick one that will scare you and feel like you cannot handle it also keep that in mind you want it to be something that you're like maybe you do have a child that's advanced but you're not and you're just like whoa shorman math might be something you might want to look into it looks like it grades it for you has all the books has the videos looked independent and also keep in mind there are companies like Abeka and BJU that have online and if you wanted to they have the option of grading so keep those in mind all right I hope this was encouraging and helpful and like I said I am this is not my subject matter I enjoy it I enjoy learning new things don't get me wrong but knowing there's other options out there besides the advanced and the honors was helpful to me when I was looking into sciences for my high schoolers. So I appreciate you all watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon.